personally, my name is uh, Eliamin, Eliamin Ali, and I'm an artist. This is what I do every day of my life, and I'm grateful for that. So I started doing tattoos, like professionality, 20, let's say 2013, prof where like it, I, I, I had like a shop and everything. But before that, like the struggle, the hustle and everything, so me only uh, until class eight in a school called Chani Primary School. From there, I had an opportunity. I, uh, like I sikuai kufika Nairobi, so then I got an opportunity for my brother who was here in Nairobi for school. I came, but then I knew that I'm coming to school, you know, for like high schools and everything. But then I came, it was different. So he told me the truth, like you know, I don't have money to take you to school and everything. So we started hustling with him. I used to go with him to Isili to. To, to buy the perfumes, you buy them for maybe like 200 shillings, uh, 300, you know, and the panties and the earrings. Yeah, so we used to hawk with my brother. So you dress up nicely, you know, official and everything. Then you walk around in town telling people what you do and everything. Yeah, so that time I, was, I think I was, I was really young. Eh? I think maybe, maybe, maybe 15, 16, I think. Yeah, so that's how it started, all started. But since I was still doing the hawking and everything, I was still drawing or still encouraging myself not really professionality but still drawing on papers giving myself hope yeah so after doing that business my brother got an opportunity to go to south korea as an architecture so i was left alone in Nairobi. he told me like i'm supposed to go back to mombasa so i was like if i go back there it's quite different why because most of the company that i have people just chill out you know smoking things like that but then i never wanted my life to be in, in that in that position you know so uh, I met a couple of people, you know, you meet people every day, you know, some encourage you, some bring you down, it's life. So in Majengo, there's a place called Majengo in Nairobi, yeah. So I, used, I, I got some guy, we used to live together there, so he used to do like a car wash thing. So we, we used to work together in a day, maybe you get like a 50 or 100 shillings, but you're grateful, why? Because I'm to Nailea, yeah, so... I did that for almost maybe like maybe four or five months that I got myself like for example good work. Good work means now I started now doing another job again. I started selling shoes in Majengo now inside the Soko. You don't sell shoes, you don't buy them, not yourself. You see the way those ladies they open the bells and everything. They give you one shoe, it's uh one azita camera. So on a particular kimoja on a hawk, and don't have to buy The lady tells you maybe two thousand, you go tell that person two thousand five hundred. Or 2,200. So you're Tipia Juniaco. So I did that for quite some time. Then I got a house. It was 500 shillings a month. And the estate was called Blue Estate in Shaorimoyo now. So it felt really good, you know, like you pay your own bills, you're growing. But still, I was still like drawing, but not really professionally. Like, like, like I wasn't getting paid by my art. Yeah, but I never gave up on that. Why? Because I knew. Like when I used to look at the matatus moving around while I, while I was there, I was like, I, I hope any skumoja piyami winter kona fanya kituka mai, you know, right? So one thing I can say in life, ni it doesn't matter vile ume raisiwa ama vile uko mazas, because your parents they did what they had to do. You understand? So it's up to you. You have to do what you have to do to get yourself to another level. Yeah. So I I, I did what I had to, to do. Kazi nini kujituma. Then I remember I got I got I got some tender with uh, paint work with some city council in in in, Chow, in Chowrimoyo police station. The, the buildings, painting them and everything. Yeah, my first payment was like fifteen thousand. I never had fifteen thousand on me, so it felt it felt really good. I remember I bought brushes, I bought paints, I bought you know things for art, and I bought T-shirts. Let's say maybe like six or seven pieces. Yeah, so I started drawing on T-shirts for people. Like, hello, na chore yamtu na kumbi. Ah, ini poor bro. They give you hope. Uh, how much is it? Me nua T-shirts. Maybe come I'm seeing in Majengo. I sell it for maybe like five hundred. Ivo pole pole. But still, I was still doing my work, the hustling and everything, the car wash and everything. Actually, uh, what happened is I'm grateful because uh, after dealing with uh, like Kali Graf Jones or uh, Otile, you know, Timmy, these guys, uh, King Kaka, I've been working with them. So I, I, I had a tour to Tanzania doing tattoos and everything. I, th I think you know Duli Sites. Yeah, so I was doing a tattoo. I, I went to do tattoos to Duli Sites. So this guy is working with Wasafi. So I got an opportunity. This guy told me that I should make a t-shirt for him for his birthday. The boy from Tandale. So I'm honored to do such a thing. Actually, it was a quick thing because when I was there, I, w I did it when I was there. He told me I'm support my birthday is maybe like three days to come. So is it possible? 
So then I, I did it in the hotel, then I did the delivery and I was grateful this guy had it on his birthday and felt good about it and you know, I'm hoping for more and more business to come. Yes.